Did you know that right now, Spain is operating unmanned vehicles that look like they were ripped straight out of a sci-fi movie? We're talking about a secret lineup packed with classified tech, AI sensors that see in the dark, and surveillance power that can lock onto a target from kilometers away without ever being seen. But with all these tech features, which drones truly stand out in their arsenal? In this video, we'll find out as we explore the top 10 most powerful military drones in the Spanish Armed Forces. We are starting with the Skydio X-10D. You might be thinking that small drones are just toys you buy at the mall to annoy your neighbors. But let me stop you right there, because this machine is a completely different beast. The Spanish Army acquired these primarily for their incredible artificial intelligence capabilities. Unlike older drones that need a pilot to constantly tell them, don't hit that wall or watch out for that tree, the Skydio X-10D basically has its own brain. It uses visible light navigation cameras to build a 3D map of its surroundings in real time. Imagine running through a dense forest at full speed while blindfolded. That is what normal drones feel like, but this one sees everything. It is small, weighing just under three kilograms, which means a soldier can carry it in a backpack without needing a chiropractor afterwards. It has an autonomy of roughly 35 minutes, which sounds short, but in a tactical breach, 35 minutes is an eternity. But here is the real kicker that keeps me up at night. It's night sense capability. It can fly in complete darkness with zero GPS and still avoid obstacles. It uses infrared monitoring to see the heat of the environment. So if you are a bad guy hiding in a pitch black building, thinking you are safe, this little guy will find you and it will not bump into the doorframe on the way in. It is the ultimate tool for special operations where stealth and close quarters intelligence are life or death. The Spanish military knows that the future isn't just about big explosions, but about knowing exactly what is around the next corner before you walk into a trap. If you thought a flying camera was cool, wait until you see something that can roll on the ground like a tumbleweed from a Western movie. Next up is the Rooster Hybrid Drone. Yes, you heard that right. It is called the Rooster. But this thing does not lay eggs. It lays down serious intelligence. Developed by Robotican, this is one of the most unique platforms in the Spanish arsenal because it solves a problem that has plagued drone pilots for years. What do you do when you need to fly through a window, but then you need to check under a table or navigate a narrow ventilation shaft where flying is impossible? The Rooster is a hybrid system. It is essentially a drone encased in a protective cage structure. It flies like a normal quadcopter when it needs to cover vertical distance or move quickly, but then it lands on its wheels and rolls along the ground to save battery and move silently. It is like a transformer, but real. The Spanish Armed Forces use this for urban warfare and subterranean reconnaissance. Imagine sending this down a dark tunnel. It flies over debris, lands, and then rolls for minutes to listen to enemy conversations. It has a communication range of roughly 2.5 kilometers, which keeps the operator safely out of the blast zone. It is brilliant because flying consumes a massive amount of energy, while rolling uses very little. By combining the two, the rooster extends its mission time significantly. It is the perfect example of thinking outside the box, or in this case, inside the cage. This flexibility makes it indispensable for clearing buildings without risking human soldiers. Have you ever seen a drone that can walk and fly? Let me know in the comments if you would trust a rolling robot to watch your back. Now let's move from the weird and wonderful to the absolute workhorse of Western militaries. We are talking about the RQ-11 Raven. If you have played any military video game in the last 15 years, you know exactly what this is. It is the drone that you throw like a spear to launch. It looks simple, almost like a model airplane you would build with your dad in the garage, but do not let its humble appearance fool you. This system is the backbone of battalion-level intelligence. The Spanish Army uses the Raven because it is incredibly reliable and battle-tested. It weighs just under two kilograms, making it light enough for a single soldier to carry the entire system, plane, control station, and battery in a rucksack. Once it is in the air, it pushes itself with a small electric motor that is surprisingly quiet. It cruises at altitudes of roughly 150 meters, 
making it very hard to spot from the ground unless you know exactly where to look. It provides live video feeds in color or infrared for night operations. The beauty of the Raven is its simplicity. If it crashes, you just pick it up, snap the wings back on, tape it up, and throw it again. It has a range of about 10 kilometers, allowing a squad leader to see what is over the next hill or behind a line of trees. It is not designed to drop missiles. It is designed to save lives by preventing ambushes. While other drones are flashy and expensive, the Raven is the gritty veteran that shows up to work every single day, rain or shine. Speaking of showing up every day, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we upload brand new military breakdowns every single day and you do not want to miss tomorrow's video. Leaving the hand-tossed gliders behind, we are stepping into the future of vertical takeoff with the Vector Quantum Systems. This is where things get really sleek and modern. The Spanish Ministry of Defense acquired these because they wanted the best of both worlds. The vertical takeoff ability of a helicopter and the efficient forward flight of an airplane. The Vector is a two-in-one system. You can configure it as the Vector with fixed wings for long endurance or change the rotors to turn it into the Scorpion multi-copter for different missions. That is versatility at its finest. In its fixed wing vector mode, which is what we are focusing on, it takes off vertically using three tilting rotors. Once it is up in the air, the rotors tilt forward and it flies on the lift of its wings. This is a game changer because you do not need a runway and you do not need to throw it like the Raven. You can launch it from a tiny clearing in a dense forest or the deck of a small boat. It has a wingspan of 2.8 meters and can stay in the air for up to 180 minutes. That is three hours of continuous surveillance. It is incredibly quiet, utilizing an encrypted mesh IP link to send video back from up to 25 kilometers away. For the Spanish forces, this means they can monitor a huge area of operations without the enemy ever hearing a buzz. It's like having a silent ghost in the sky. The carbon fiber construction makes it tough but light. It represents a shift towards systems that are easier to deploy, but offer much higher performance than the older generation of tactical drones. We are halfway through our countdown, and we are heading out to sea with the Fulmar X. Spain has a massive coastline, so it makes sense that they need a drone specifically designed to handle the rough, salty environment of the ocean. Developed by Wake Engineering, the Fulmer X is a fascinating piece of machinery because of how it operates. Unlike the vertical takeoff drones, this one is launched from a catapult rail. It accelerates from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in just a few meters. But the landing is the part that always makes me laugh and marvel at the same time. It does not have wheels. Instead, it flies into a net. Yes, you heard me. It essentially crashes into a vertical net on the deck of a ship to be recovered. It sounds chaotic, but it is actually a very controlled and effective way to land on a moving ship where a runway is impossible. The Fulmar X has a wingspan of about 3 meters and can fly for up to 800 kilometers in range or endure roughly 8 hours in the air. That is an entire work shift for a human, done by a robot. It carries high-definition electro-optical and infrared cameras specifically tuned to detect small objects on the water like periscopes or small rafts used by smugglers. The Spanish Navy loves this because it extends the eyes of a frigate far beyond the horizon. It can track pirate skiffs or assist in search and rescue operations, where finding a person in the water is like finding a needle in a haystack. The Fulmar X proves that sometimes the best way to land a high-tech aircraft is to just catch it like a giant baseball. Now we are entering the heavyweight category with a project that is very close to home for Spain. This is the SIRTAP. The name stands for High Performance Tactical UAS in Spanish, and it is intended to replace the older systems we will talk about later. This is not just a drone. It is a statement of industrial capability. Airbus Spain is leading the charge on this, and it is designed to be the bridge between the smaller tactical drones and the massive strategic ones. The SIRTAP is a big boy with a wingspan of roughly 12 meters. It is designed to fly for more than 20 hours straight. Imagine staying awake for 20 hours staring at a screen. That is why we have robots do it. 
It can carry a payload of over 150 kilograms, which allows it to pack powerful radars, guided munitions, or electronic warfare pods. One of the key selling points is that its wings can be disassembled easily so the whole drone fits into a standard shipping container or can be flown in the back of a C-295 transport plane. This means Spain can deploy the SIRTAP anywhere in the world within hours. It is designed to operate in extreme weather capabilities, from the freezing cold to the blistering heat of the desert, where Spanish troops often deploy. It represents a leap forward in sovereignty, meaning Spain does not have to rely entirely on American or Israeli technology for their defense. It is sleek, it is powerful, and it is going to be the backbone of the Spanish tactical fleet for the next decade. If you are enjoying this deep dive into military tech, smash that like button so the YouTube algorithm knows you want to see more big machines. If you thought the SIRTAP was big, get ready for the monster of the continent. At number 4, we have the Eurodrone Mail RPS. Mail stands for Medium Altitude Long Endurance, but honestly, there is nothing medium about the ambition behind this project. This is the European answer to the American Reaper. It is a massive, twin-turboprop aircraft that looks more like a piloted plane than a drone. Spain, along with Germany, France, and Italy, is pouring resources into this to ensure Europe has its own strategic surveillance capability. The Eurodrone is designed to stay airborne for a staggering amount of time, providing persistent surveillance over vast areas. We are talking about a wingspan of roughly 26 meters that is nearly as wide as a commercial airliner like an Airbus A320. Because it has two engines, it offers a level of safety and redundancy that single-engine drones just cannot match. If one engine fails over a populated area, the Eurodrone can still fly home safely. This is crucial for flying over European airspace. It is going to be equipped with the absolute latest in radar and signal intelligence gathering. While it is still in the advanced development and initial production phases, it is already a key part of Spain's future strategy. It allows the Spanish armed forces to conduct missions that would previously require expensive manned aircraft or satellite time. It is a symbol of European unity, proving that when these countries work together, they can build something that rivals anything coming out of the United States. It is big, it is loud, and it is here to stay. Let's dial it back a bit to respect the elders. At number three is the IAI Searcher MK3. You cannot talk about Spanish drone power without mentioning the machine that has done the heavy lifting for years. This is an Israeli-made drone that looks a bit quirky with its twin boom tail and pusher propeller, but it is tough as nails. The Spanish army has used the searcher extensively, particularly in difficult theaters like Afghanistan. When Spanish soldiers were out on patrol in the dusty mountains, the searcher was often the eye in the sky watching over them. It has a wingspan of about 8.5 meters and can stay in the air for 18 hours. It flies at altitudes up to 6,000 meters, which keeps it well out of range of small arms fire. The Searcher MK3 is an upgrade over the older models, featuring better engines and avionics. It is primarily an intelligence gatherer. It does not carry missiles, but the information it provides is more lethal than any bomb. It tells the artillery where to fire and the infantry where to move. It is the definition of a force multiplier. Even though newer drones like the SIRTAP are coming to replace it, the searcher has earned its place in history. It taught the Spanish military how to effectively use drones in modern combat. It's like that old pickup truck that has 300,000 kilometers on it, but still starts every morning. It might not be the prettiest, but you respect it for what it has survived. Now we are getting into the elite tier. Number two is the Hermes 900. Also from Israel's Elbit Systems, this is the big brother to the smaller, tactical drones. Spain acquired these to have a true strategic capability before the Eurodrone comes fully online. The Hermes 900 is a Starliner-class drone. It is sleek, aerodynamic, and absolutely packed with sensors. It has a wingspan of 15 meters and can stay airborne for up to 36 hours. Just think about that for a second. That is a day and a half of constant flying without refueling. It can cruise at 9,000 meters, looking down with eagle eyes. The payload capacity is double that of its predecessor, 
allowing it to carry multiple types of sensors at once. It can carry electro-optical cameras, laser designators, and synthetic aperture radar all on the same mission. This means it can see through clouds, map the terrain, and track moving targets simultaneously. For Spain, this drone serves as a high-altitude guardian. It can monitor the entire Mediterranean coast or support troops on the ground with high-fidelity data. It is also designed to be quieter and harder to detect than older drones. When the Hermes 900 is overhead, the enemy usually has no idea they are being watched until it is too late. It is a serious piece of hardware that bridges the gap between tactical necessity and strategic dominance. We are almost at the number one spot, so tell me, which drone has been your favorite so far? The rolling cage or the giant plane? And finally, we arrive at the absolute king of the skies, the most famous and frankly the most intimidating name in the drone world. Number one is the MQ-9 a Predator B. Often just called the Reaper in other services, the Spanish Air and Space Force operates this beast, and it is in a league of its own. Manufactured by General Atomics in the USA, this is the drone that changed warfare forever. It has a massive wingspan of 20 meters and is powered by a Honeywell turboprop engine that gives it a top speed of over 400 kilometers per hour. While Spain currently uses it primarily for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, the platform itself is famous for its hunter-killer capability. The Spanish Predators are based in Barajos, and they provide a capability that few nations possess. It can fly for 27 hours straight and reach altitudes of 15,000 meters. That is higher than commercial airliners crews. From that height, its multi-spectral targeting system can read a license plate on a car. It connects via satellite, meaning the pilots can be sitting in a container in Spain while the drone is operating on the other side of the planet. It represents the pinnacle of current drone technology and operational service. It is big, it is scary, and it gives the Spanish armed forces a global reach. When the Predator B takes off, everyone pays attention. It is the ultimate eye in the sky, and practically speaking, the most powerful drone Spain has in its inventory today. And there you have it, folks. These were the 10 best drones in the Spanish Armed Forces. Which of these machines really impressed you? Let us know in the comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see much more rankings like these.